Alright everyone, so today I'm going to show you the right way of, uh, or recommend a way of cleaning your screen on MacBooks or if you have a glossy MacBook Pro. Okay. Now, the first thing that you really don't want to do, especially if you have like a glossy coat on your screen, is uh, clear screens maybe not the best solution anymore for cleaning it. Um, I found that when I first got it and I tried it, it'll smear and it'll kind of like stick to the glossy coating on your display. I mean, clear screen is still a really awesome product. If you have anything with matte, if you have a PowerBook G4 or a MacBook Pro with like the matte display, clear screen still works like super good. I mean, this is like the best stuff out there. So basically, you know, I just kind of keep this around and I use this for like, you know, the LCD panels that we have, you know, HD monitors that we got in the house. So this is good for that. You know, if you got like one of those fancy new LCD TVs, you know, you can still use it for that. But maybe not the best like product or solution for uh, glossy displays. Okay. So one of the worst things that anyone can do is to physically touch your display. And, you know, any like laptop toting geek who's like, you know, I mean like, especially with me and my friends, like, you know, you touch the display, basically that's like, you know, you should like have your finger removed almost because it's it's bad. And the reason why it's bad is because like the oils from your hand will transfer onto the display. And over time, if you leave that oil on the LCD screen, it can actually kind of penetrate through the glossy coat. And it, and over time, it's possible that you can even like rub some of the LCD uh, coating off and it's just going to screw up your color saturation. You're going to have like a little spot on your screen that's not going to be able to rub away. You know, it's a really bad thing. So if anyone touches the LCD screen, you know, scold them. You know, don't put up with it. Seriously. But if it does happen, um, I'm just going to show you right now the right way, or maybe the Apple more recommended way of like, of uh, cleaning your display. Okay. So, anyways, if um, reading the uh, Apple manual or the manual that came with your MacBook or glossy MacBook Pro, the recommended cleaning solution. Um, to clean your display is just water, okay? And the way that I've uh, been doing this recently, cleaning my display, is what I've done is I've uh, run my hand underneath the sink and what I'm going to do, so I left it wet, so my hand's still wet, and basically all I'm going to do is just this, you know? And then, you know, now just get the water droplets, so it's just basically like, you know, air dry on my hand, right on the display. And all that does is it, you know, it gets the, uh, you know, applies a nice even, you know, distribution of water droplets, you know, right on the screen. And this is the really important part, is actually the cloth. The cloth makes the magic because what you want to do is make sure you have a piece of microfiber. Don't use a paper towel. Don't use a towel from Wendy's or Zippy's or Burger King or wherever else you may go. Don't do that. Use a microfiber, okay? Now, before, these things used to be super expensive. Like, before, a microfiber used to cost, like, eight bucks just for one. Now you can go to Sam's Club and you can get, like, a pack of, like, 12 for, like, I don't know, a couple bucks. So there's really no reason not to get one of these. Just get a microfiber cloth and, you know, the water liberally applied, you know, just from doing this, you know, get it off, and then just wipe it off, okay? And, you know, you can, like, look in the light, you know, face it towards the light, you know, get that reflection on the screen like that right there, and you'll be able to see, like, okay, and, you know, just, just wipe it right off, make sure you get all the grease off, and you should be good to go, all right? So, that's it, simple water, your hand, flick it, microfiber, and that's all you need, okay? So, hope you enjoyed that, and, uh, yeah, alright, peace.